Hello, and thank you for tuning in, RoseWardStampersDelight.com. I think I'm a minute early, which is okay. Hopefully, uh, this way I can see if everything's working. Hi, Susan. Hey, Matthew, I just saw you. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, France. So happy you could join me. I know I haven't been on on Sunday evenings lately because I do the uh, YouTubes on Monday. But with all the problems I had on Friday, I decided to hop on and do the class from Friday. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Trudy. Let me grab my glasses. You can see I had a little sun today. It was floating in the pool. Thank you all for tuning in. Yes, please share my videos. I really appreciate it. Hi, Margie. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Patricia. So again, rosewardsdampersdelight.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got a cute little idea to show you tonight, plus some great little samples. You're multitasking. Okay, Matthew says he's doing something unheard of for men. He's multitasking, and I know what he's doing. He's watching me on Facebook and Donna on YouTube Live. You go, Matthew. <laughs> <clears throat> so before we get started, I do want to show you a couple of things, okay? Hey, Carol. Carol's new. Well, thank you for tuning in, Carol. Hey, Kathy, Janice, Judy. Thank you all for tuning in. So a couple things I want to show you first, and um, this is for my fall retreat. My fall retreat, which is going to be online and in-home, for those of you that can't make it to my in-home one, actually that one's pretty full now, you can still get a chance to do the online fall retreat. For $125, that's U.S. only, you're going to get this bundle, okay, and you will also get this bundle and I do have the sign up till uh, September 30th okay because the fall retreat is October the reason I'm telling you now is because these uh, dies the celebration label dies are on low inventory and they could go back ordered at any time so if you want to do my fall retreat you really want to sign up now okay so for $125 you're gonna get both those bundles you're going to get a swag bag with some goodies and also um, eight to ten projects to do, plus an exclusive video not shown anywhere else. But you get all that for the fall online retreat, and you can do it at your leisure. Okay, so definitely want to check out my fall retreat. I'm going to put that back there for a second. The other thing I want to mention to you is that September 1st, we have a new promotion, recruiting promotion. So I definitely want you to check it out and maybe join my team. I'll have a better copy this week when I can get the color printer working. Actually, I don't have a color printer. Who am I kidding? My husband has to get that done. <laughs> so it's called the Get and Go promotion. And what you're going to get is you are going to get two stamp sets, um, So Much Love stamp set and the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, plus two project kits, okay, uh, number one and number two. There'll be eight in each pack, so that's 16 project kits to help you get started as, with your Stampin' Up! business. And that's all in addition to what you pick out for $99. You still get to pick out $125 of your merchandise, and then you're going to get all this added items too, plus a package of basic rhinestones. So again, you're going to get all your regular, whatever you pick out, plus all this extra when you join my team September 1st. And I'd love to have you on my team. I really want you to be one of my team members. With As a team member, you get an exclusive uh, Facebook page with me. And of course, emails if you're not on Facebook. But um, And I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I am here to help you, whatever you need, whether you want to do Stampin' Up! as a hobby or make it a business. So just keep that in mind. That's September 1st. Also September 1st, you can order the new cut and embossing machine. Okay. Our new die cutting machine. So definitely want to check those things out. September 1st is right around the corner. Hi Fran. Hi Marlene. Hi Bree. Okay. So for tonight, what I'm going to show you is give a hoot. Now I picked this set for a couple of reasons. We all want to get more bang for our buck, right? So this stamp set, when you first look at it, you're thinking Halloween. But if you notice, there's a couple, there's three Christmas stamps in here. This one, this one, and this one. And then you got three Halloween. So you got, when you think about it, two holidays you can make, right? But if you look at this little guy right here, 
he's just holding a little present so guess what you can make this into birthday cards and I'm going to show you a few of those tonight that I did okay so let's get started grab your coffee grab your tea or if you're drinking a cocktail grab that too I mask my coffee on Saturday on Sunday night so definitely get ready okay all right I'm gonna flip the camera Yes, Denise, I am back. Uh, funny story on Friday. My internet was not connecting. I use Switcher Studio, and then I connect to the internet um, via Facebook or YouTube. Wasn't working. I was up very early in the morning. Wasn't working, so I had to wake my husband up, who gets to sleep late on Friday mornings. And we could not get it to work. But as soon as he got up and came down, it started working. But by then, I had to get to work myself. So, so sorry for those of you who got up early Friday morning. I promise to be back bright and early this coming Friday morning, okay? So if you'd like to order for me, here is my host code for the month. You just go to Stamper's Delight, use that host code if it's less than $150, okay? And then uh, if it's more than $150, don't use this because you want to get the Stampin' Rewards. I'm going to place that out of the way. Okay, so like I said, we're going to use Give a Hoot. Uh, have a hoot. I keep wanting to say hit, give a hoot. This is also the set, the bundle that I chose for my September Sweet and Simple class. So something I've never done before. I've never shown um, a stamp set or bundle on a live and then also use the same thing for my online monthly class. But I did that for a reason because I think that things might get left out of this because it's such a great set. Okay, so you have some little um, tree branches here, and these all match up. So let me show you what I mean. This is a stamp, right? And you can just cut those little guys right out. It won't cut out all the um, little uh, sparkles there. Or you can use this, and it'll cut out that moon and the um, owl here. But for what I did is I did a lot of fussy cutting because I wanted the whole pieces for this video. But you'll see. This piece is absolutely great. Okay. So what this is. Hey, Donna. Donna Ivy, one of my teammates. Thank you for tuning in. What you would do with this stitched um, framelit here or die is you would put it through your big shot like that. And what happens through the magic of television it comes out looking like this. So you've got these great little uh, windows. Okay, you can make shaker cards with that. And then what happens is these pieces that come out, you get to make tags with. Great, lots and lots of things you can do with it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how that's going to work. We'll be playing with that a little bit later. But again, um, what I really want to make, make sure you understand is that when you see the dies, they only cut out parts of, that one cuts out most of it, okay? This one right here cuts out the owl and the spider, okay? Great set, though. Great, great set. Okay, now that we got that done, let's move this out of the way, and let's show you some of the samples that I have done. Okay, everybody remembers the July paper pumpkin, and you could buy the extra cards and envelopes with it, which had uh, purples and oranges. So what I did was I took those extra card bases, I used the purple posy, and I used my um, embossing folder, cobwebs, and I just ran that through. Can you see that? The cobwebs through there. And then I cut those little guys out with the dies, and I made like a little window card. Okay. Yes, that's right. You could pop it over the image, and I'll show you that. Actually, let me show you that now. Donna, Donna, you're correct. So right here, you can stamp this large stamp here, and then cut those uh, four little guys out and make it pop up. Okay, that's on page 62. So, again, I just did a little Halloween card. It says, boo, have a hoot. And these, of course, were extras from my paper pumpkin in July. So that was one cute card I did. The next one I did, 
I actually, well, here's the envelope. I used the uh, designer series paper from the Hallows Night Magic uh, Suite. You can see the little spiders on there. And then what I did was I layered that designer series paper on a piece of black cardstock, and I cut using my layering circle dies right through there. I used that cobweb ribbon. And of course, in this um, have a hoot set, you got that cute little um, cobweb. So I did that in the glittery black, the glimmer paper. And I used the um, spider from Hallow's Night. Okay. And then when you open it up, you can see it. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Okay, so here we go. So again, and it, it used the trick or treat from Hallow's Night. So you can look at, and of course I put that little, our little doodads there. I used it for the little spider body. Can you see them? So it's a little 3D. Whoop. So that was another one I did. Then remember what I said about this little guy right here, because he's just got a little present in his hand. So how about using this stamp set? The little treats, okay? Because that's got a little treat, it's got a birthday, it's got a birthday present and some little candies and making a birthday card. And this is our Playing With Patterns designer series paper from the annual catalog. So this is a mini me slimline card. So I made a birthday card. And of course I used the sayings from here, birthday wishes for, uh, birthday wishes for you today and then inside from all of us. So you can definitely use this as a birthday card too. Lots of uses, whoop, lots of uses with that have a hoot. And I keep saying give a hoot. So if I say give a hoot, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was that one. Now the one I'm gonna be uh, showing you tonight is called a wiper card. And this is what I used for this one. Now this inside, of course, you've been seeing me use the um, ornamental envelope bundle. And that's the bundle that gives you the inside um, inserts for your cards or your envelopes. And here I have, again, using that designer series paper, a little have a hoot on Halloween. Again, I used the, dot, the um, embossing folder. And there's a little spider. And then, whoop, boo. So this is called a wiper card. Look at that. What do you think? Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to make one of these tonight. I will also put the description, the measurements, in the description later on. So don't worry if you don't get my measurements, because I will add those later. Okay? There we go with that. All right, now before I show you anything with that, let's just take a look at that again, little treats. I'm gonna bring that again in for a minute because also you can use the, the little treat box. I love these because you can make Halloween, Christmas engagement, little gift boxes, which is what I did with this little guy for special trick-or-treaters. Okay, and of course I got some candy in there. I did have a very large bag of candy last week when I started playing with this set. I gotta glue him back down. And uh, I ate most of them. My mother and my sister and friends were here yesterday, so we kind of got into the candies. Okay, so you can make a cute little treat box. And remember, you can make it for Christmas, birthdays, whichever you want. I'm just gonna add a little bit of my uh, stamp and seal plus because he's coming off there so let me just add a little bit more here I have some dimensionals on there and I, get, I use the minis I should have used the larger ones cute little box okay let's put him over here now maybe you don't want to do a lot of coloring because there is some coloring to do inside of these little owls you can also use just do it all one color again there's my envelope Here's some designer series paper. And all I did was use the pretty peacock. I used the banner 
um, punch uh, the banner dies here and I just cut it off so that I had this little banner piece hey Maureen hi France hi Cindy hi Patricia I hope you're good out in California I feel so bad for everybody out there with those fires thoughts and prayers are with everybody and then of course from all of us if you don't want a color you can just do everything in one color okay so that's a Christmas one and I'll have still shots uploaded tomorrow the next one I'll show you again I used our plaid designer series paper and here's where I cut when I cut these out I used them for this one of my little rhinestones fell off there we go um, I used these little guys and they do have a little slit here to make them into tags so I just put some little ribbon in there okay and of course Merry Christmas so that's another Christmas card and then how about another wiper card now for this wiper card I'll show you the difference I just used the cardstock back here which is four by five and a quarter but for this one I used the five, uh, four by five and a quarter and you can see it's embossed with our winter snow the snowflakes and you can just barely see them back there if I hold it for a minute it'll focus in on it but then I use those celebration dies that I'm going to be using in my uh, retreat and I layered some more of that designer series paper in there from all of us owl of us Merry Christmas and you got another little yes Megan my Cali kids are fine they're not near the fires, so thank you so much for asking I really appreciate that so far so good Ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> so there's a Christmas card for you with the wiper. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put these over here because I like to keep my mind uh, fresh when I'm doing this. Also, when you do, when you cut these out, like I said, you get all these pieces cut out. There's a celebration die here too. So let me show you what I did with some of these. So here's a lot of these pieces that I had left here. See, there's this one that has that little opening. And I made some tags. This is about the time of year when I do a video, I start making tags. So here we have a little tag. And you can see I did that double. I stamped on white and then I used the cut the frame out. I cut this frame out to use for a, do, uh, uh, a tag and on the back it says to and from the to and from is actually from that little treats and these are all of my scraps again here's some more designer series paper that I had left over and I made some Christmas tags and then this little guy to and from on the back all I want for Christmas is you all right, so there's a couple other things I did with it. All right, so let's bring in the pieces I need for my wiper card. Now, again, I have all the dimensions written down here, but I will type them up in the description. So we're going to start right now with the first piece of cardstock that you're going to use is eight and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Okay, so again, it's eight and a half by four and a quarter or four and a quarter by eight and a half, whichever way you want to say it. Okay, you're going to score that at one and a half. And then three inches. Okay. And so I don't lose anything. I am going to do it piece by piece. We're going to go ahead and fold that. And it, what it looks like is a Z fold backwards. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could do it this way too. So that is the base. And I want to get a really good scoring here. So let's do that. Okay. 
Then with that, you're going to take two pieces of designer series paper and these are actually one and a quarter. Uh, actually, let me grab my, uh, my ruler so I can give you the right dimensions. Even though I write them down, sometimes I can't even read my own writing. So these, this is um, one and a quarter by four. So you need one and a quarter by four, and you need two of those. Okay, so those are going to go right here. But the nice thing is you could use, you can mix and match. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this side. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. So I'm going to put one right here. Okay. And I'm going to go right here. Now I am using the stamp and seal plus because when it comes to the wiper part, you really want a heavier adhesive. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So that, but that piece. Now inside, there's another piece of designer series paper. And like I said, this is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go right in there. And I'm going to use the same color. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down now. And I'm doing this, hopefully I get it straight because I like to stand up and do my projects but I am sitting down so here's the start of your wiper card okay all right piece to use is a strip that is two inches by eight and a half bring my scoring tool in I'm going to score it the same way at one and a half and three It for the scoring right now. So I'm going to fold those and really burnish those really well. Now, this piece, the smaller pieces, go on the opposite edge. Okay? So it's going to go like this. Okay, just like those Z fold cards that we make. Okay. Here's where I'm going to change it, and instead of using this side, I'm going to use this side. So this piece right here is going to be one and three quarters by five and a quarter. Again, I will put the measurements on there so you don't have to write them all down now. I'm going to go ahead and put that adhesive on there. And do that and these two little guys very small but they're gonna fit right here okay they are one and a quarter by one and three quarters and you know the measurements are up to you you could layer another piece of cardstock under there and just uh, trim it off a little bit you know like a quarter inch of everything or an eighth of an inch so I'm gonna put that right there Okay, so there we have the start of our wiper card. All right, we can put those pieces up, up here for a second. And I am going to stamp. So this is, uh, again, this is the celebration die. And I'm going to bring in these three little guys because they're so cute. I'm going to use my memento. Yes, definitely share my videos. Oh, I hit 7,000 YouTube subscribers this weekend. And I'll be on YouTube tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Back-to-back -back videos. Oh, my goodness. You'll get tired of hearing me. Um, so my goal is to hit 10,000 by Christmas. All right. So let me bring in a piece of scrap paper here.
and I'm just going to stamp this right here. I'm going to bring in some blends. Now, I don't know why, but I keep making my owls gray. I, you can make your owls any color you want. You can also use them, make them brown, but for some reason I've been making mine gray lately. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dark. Just add a little bit. They're so small. A little bit of dark there. Smoky Slate. And then I am just going to color him up. The reason I was using the gray is because I'm using the crumb cake for my uh, tree branch. So let me just color a little these guys in. Get his little hand there. I don't know. Wing. I guess it's a wing. It's not a hand. It's not a paw. It's got to be a wing. It's a bird. Let me color these little guys in here. You can see I'm using the nubby edge because it can get in there better. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. Hey, Vicki, glad you're back. I'm going to put some little bright yellow eyes here. This is Daffodil Delight. Now I'm going to bring in my crumb cake. And I'm just going to add some, this is the dark... Just going to add some dark here. And then I'm just going to go with the light. Again, I'm using my nubby edge because it, it's a very small space. Okay. I'm just going to take my uh, pumpkin pie and give them a cute little nose. Hardly see it, but. And then I'm going to bring in just my light cherry cobbler. And I'm just going to make the whole hat red. You can blend them up different colors if you want. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to do little little guys. Okay. So, I'm going to bring this in. And I know this is going to go right here. Right? So, let's see. I want him right about there. And I'm going to use some dimensionals. I'm going to bring in my dimensionals here. I have a sheet of these from one of our card kits, so I'm using those up now. So let's put some of these on here. Move that out of the way. And put him right about here. I just want to make sure that he's not too far down, right there. That's why I'm using this as a guide, but I don't want to glue that down yet because you'll see why in a minute. Okay. All right. That one's there. Okay, so I'm going to bring in another piece of Whisper White. And I need to stamp another owl. So let's do... Um, I'm going to use these guys, the two, the two lo lovebirds there. Okay, I'm going to stamp those with my memento. Hopefully he's not too big for the wiper card. I don't really need the top piece. I'm going to be cutting that off. And I'm just going to take my dark... Gray, a little dark gray there. Okay, and then bring in my light. This one I can actually use the wider side because there's a these are a little bit bigger. Now I haven't used this 
this stamp right here for the wiper. So he may, they may, I may have to trim it down because remember it's got to hide behind here. That's his, the other little guy's eye, so we don't want to do that. Bring in that dark gray for the little feet here. Okay. And I'm going to give him some bright yellow eyes. And then a little orange beak. Okay. Right now I'm gonna I am going to color in the branch, but I know I'm not sure how much of the branch we're gonna be using. So I'm just gonna color that in real quick. And that part I don't need. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bring in my scissors, and I'm just going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. So I'm just cutting around branches for right now. Like I said, he's a little bit bigger than the piece I used before, so we'll see how it works out. Now this one I could have used my dies, had I known I was going to use this one. Okay. All right, so that's the piece that's going to come up. The next little piece that you need is one by one and seventh eighths. And this you can, you also, again, need to play around with sometimes. I'm just going to fold this. So I'm going to fold that corner down just like this. Okay. So I'm just folding that corner. Sometimes I use my nail. It actually makes it crisp better. You're going to flip this around. And this is actually going to be going right here. And you see it's too long. But that's okay because that I, it's, I can trim it off when I'm done. So the triangle, this flap right here, is going to glue down. So this little piece right here, I'm going to put my stamp and seal on and fold it back right in the middle of that square. I'm going to lay it down just like that. Okay. And I did it backwards. <laughs> Let me change that. Okay, hang on one second. We need to change this because I think I put it in backwards. This is, I'm, I'm looking at my sample card if you can see it in there. So this actually gets laid in. It's not very easy to see what I'm doing here. Hang on. Okay. So this piece, let me just grab another piece so that I can cut it right. Sorry about that. But you know, mistakes happen in stamping. We wouldn't be doing this if, if, if I had to be perfect. I definitely wouldn't be doing this, right? Okay, so let me just cut this piece again. So I have another little piece. Okay. Well, you get to see it twice. Okay, so we're going to fold that again. Okay. 
Here we go. All right. Now this piece right here has to lay in here, just like that. So I just put, I did it, I had the glue on the wrong side. Okay, so we're gonna, just gonna put that just like this. Whoop, I'm not in camera view, am I? Right here. Okay. There we go. All right. So it's gonna look like this. All right. Okay. I find it easier. There's a couple different ways to do it, but I'll tell you, I find it easier for me to put this guy down first. But what you're also going to need is a strip of window sheet. And the window sheet is also one, this is a uh, seven eighths by one inch. I'm just going to cut off a piece. I'm not, because it's a window sheet, I can trim it later on. Okay. So this is going to go right here. So I'm going to get some glue dots. You can't see. Can you see now, Megan? I think I was at a camera, but you for a minute there. Okay. So that was just this. I know I get stamping and I forget which way I'm supposed to be doing this. All right, so hopefully I'm back in camera view. I'm gonna put a glue dot right here and I'm gonna put this guy here. So this piece is probably longer than I need, but I like to have it longer because I can trim it, okay? All right, so then I'm gonna flip this down and this little piece right here is gonna go back here. So let's see, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use one glue dot for now because I think I, if I have, I can trim that if I need to. Okay. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that back there. All right. Let's see here. Yeah. This, now I can trim this off. All right. And just a tad more right here. Okay. All right. Now, this is what I was talking about. Now, I know when I close it, I can finagle and play with this. This piece right here, I'm going to trim a little more. Because remember, I, I made this one afterwards, so it wasn't exactly the right size. You see how you can see a little bit of this guy right here? So then what I can do is I can just take those off ever so gently and move it down just a tad. This way he doesn't show. Or I can take those little leaves off, which I think I, that's what I'm going to do. Because they are in the way. Okay, there we go. All right. Now that's perfect. So you're just going to... Make sure that this little guy goes behind there without showing up, okay? All right. I know he doesn't look like he's going anywhere yet. Trust me, he will. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece, and I'm going to glue that right down there. And then this one is going to be glued right here, and look what happens. So let me flip this over. And for this, I would put another two strips there, okay? And that's gonna go right here. So that when I close it, you don't see them. But then when I open it, they pop up. Can you see that? If you use glue dot, if you use dimensionals here, you got to be careful that he doesn't get hooked up. Okay, so it's getting he's getting caught because I got a dimensional there. Let's take that dimensional off so he doesn't. It's too fat.
Don't put your dimensional too far down. We'll just move him out of the way. There we go. And he's still hitting. All right, hold on. We'll fix that. Let me just take those. What I'm going to do is take those dimensionals off. Okay? I'm just going to take the dimensionals right off so he swings up there better. You'll see in a minute. Actually, now I'm kind of glad I didn't do this Friday morning. I probably would have been half asleep. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I took the dimensionals off, and I'm just going to use it. I'm going to glue it right down flat. Okay? Right there. All right. Now we got it. Hmm? He does not want to fold up. Let me just fix him. There we go. Okay. He keeps getting stuck on something here. There we go. Okay. So now let's finish fixing him up. Ta-da! Ta-da! All right. So let's get... Let's see. I'm going to use this little piece right here. Right here, I'm going to put the Merry Christmas. Let me just find a Merry Christmas here. All I want for Christmas is you. I don't want that. We want Merry Christmas. Here it is. Okay. Actually, I think I'll use from all of us. Yeah. I'm going to use that one instead. Oh, you like it? Okay, so I'm going to use from all of us. Because there's everybody there, right? I'm going to grab some ribbon. Let's see, I'll grab my metallic ribbon here. I'm just going to grab a piece off of here. Get him out of the way. These little wiper cards are so fun to make. And like I said, you know, you just trim. Use my, my dimensions, but then you just trim as you need it. If something, like if something's in the way, you can just trim it down once you get the card all together. There's no right or wrong way. Okay. And... I left my other scissors over there, so let's use these scissors. I'm just going to snip this off. Oh, I'm not in camera view, sorry. And here I'm going to use some dimensionals again. So I would recommend not using dimensionals on this guy so that he doesn't block the one popping up. I thought I would be different and use it, although I used it on the other ones, but I used uh, the mini dimensionals, so that's probably why the bigger dimensionals are too fat. So use the mini dimensionals. Okay, we're going to put that right there. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, what else do I have up here that I want to use? I had another little piece here. This is from another stand, another uh, die that I had. I'm going to use that one right here. Okay. So I'm going to use the Merry Christmas up here. And I'm going to glue that down right here. Now you don't want it. You don't want it in the way of the the birds. Okay. So I'm going to flip him over. And then you have your Christmas. Ta-da! Okay, so now we need to put some little doodads on it. So let's look at what we have here. We have Christmas, ry Christmas rhinestones. 
And we have, oh, I know what ones we need to use for this one. We need to use these little guys. Okay. So now let's decorate it. Okay, so if I take these cute little, I think I'll use the darker ones. I like to put a few of them on my little sparkly guys there. They make it look like snowflakes. And then maybe a larger one here. Maybe a larger one here. And maybe a smaller one there. So that would be, oh, I don't like that. He's crooked. Okay. Let me re. I just noticed he was crooked, so we need to fix him, don't we? Okay. Let me put this back down straight. There we go. It's because I'm not standing up. Okay. So there we have this cute little swiper card. Never made a swiper card? Well, I guess you'll be giving it a try. It does take a... I mean, after you do one or two, they are easier to do. But like I said, here, let me bring in the ones that I did, and I'll show you what I mean. See, this guy, he's over further. So he's not... He's not um, interrupting him. All right? The Christmas one is right there, but I use the mini dimensional, so they're not as high up. So that's why this one comes up better. All right, so this one I had to use the larger dimensionals and they were too too puffy. And then of course people ask me, well, where do you sign a card? Well, I don't know about you, but I just signed a card on the back. Okay. Ta-da, ta-da, love these. Ta-da. And you could do a you could do a wiper card. I call it swiper card, but you could do it a, a wiper card with any of anything you want. Oh yeah, birthday cards, anything like that, right? So I think they're awesome. I like them, um, and you can add some more doodads to them if you wanted to. You can use this wiper card for any holiday or any stamps. Absolutely, Cindy. Absolutely. Because you see here, these, these two are Christmas, but this one is Halloween. And, oh, my gosh, to make a, a birthday one would be awesome. Right? Okay. So, let me bring in the cards again. And I'm so glad for you guys to stick with me. Thank you so much for that. So, let's bring in the cards. Okay. So, we have... Of course, the Halloween one, which I've been showing you the whole time. We have this Christmas one. They're stinking cute. Thanks, Pam. And then these little, little lovebirds from Owl of Us. Let me bring in the other cards from that set. Now, remember, this is also the this, this stamp set that I'll be using on my Sweet and Simple online class. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, the online class, just so you know, for, for, sep for September... For the whole class, you would get this, stamp set and dies. You get five projects, kits to do, five projects with all the embellishments that I use. And you will get um, a video tutorial. And that's, that's for $72 US. There's also a $45 class, which does not include this. It's just the five projects and the five, uh, the five project kits and the video. But if you don't have these dies, you're not going to be able to finish it. And then, of course, there's just the tutorial. That'll be in my description when I'm done. Okay? So let's bring in... Okay, this one goes here. Okay. And then, of course, we had this card. And we had this one. Let's bring in the other cards that I did. We had the Halloween one using the cards, the cards from uh, July's Paper Pumpkin, because I thought that background looked perfect for Halloween. Here's a birthday card, a mini, mini slim, mini me slimline birthday card. And then of course we have the Halloween one with the spider web ribbon. Oh, you're very welcome, Kathy. Thank you all for tuning in. And then of course we have the little treat box for Halloween. I'll be doing more with these little treat boxes. I'll be showing you how to do those too. 
Very easy. So uh, after this video, I will be adding the dimensions on to my video or to the description. Tomorrow I will follow up with the um, on my my blog, the still shots. Let me just flip the camera. I really hope you enjoyed that. I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you have a great Sunday evening. I will be back on tomorrow night, YouTube Live at 7 p.m. And I'll be doing the August paper pumpkin. Now, if you don't get the paper pumpkin, because I know some states, some uh, countries aren't getting that yet, you'll still want to tune in because I do have another fun fold for you, which you could use with any stamp set, okay? So again, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. Share my videos. Leave me any questions. Um, I will answer as soon as I can. And thank you again. Have a great week. Until I see you tomorrow night, that is. <laughs> Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.